Welcome to Global Fusion Yoga, Episode 4, brought to you from Lake Kivu, Rwanda. My name is Mary Patton, and I'll be leading you through today's 50-minute vinyasa flow, filmed on the shores of one of Africa's great lakes. Straddling the border between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, Lake Kivu is part of the East African Rift and is the third deepest lake on the continent. Every evening, fishermen set out in large wooden canoes to fish overnight for tilapia and sardines, returning at sunrise with nets full for the local markets. The lake offers another important export with its reserves of methane gas lying deep on the lake bottom. Recent ventures have built offshore platforms to carefully siphon the gas off the bottom and convert it into natural energy. If successful, the methane project could increase Rwanda's energy supply almost 20-fold and drastically improve access to electricity in the region. Rwanda's mountainous landscape creates dramatic shorelines and hilly islands, with some of them serving as homes for giant populations of fruit bats. But don't worry, they don't bite. Not too far from Lake Kivu's shores, lush tea plantations spread across the steep slopes, producing the delicious tea that is Rwanda's largest export. In the southern lake region, these tea plantations push right up against the Nyungwe Forest National Park, which extends south to the border with Burundi. The rainforest is well known for its large populations of chimpanzees and black and white colobus monkeys, and beautiful waterfall hikes. The variety of ecosystems in the region, from the rainforests to the islands, makes this a truly stunning and unique place. So come and join me on the shores of Lake Kivu for today's class. Let's begin. So before we begin today's class, grab a strap or something around the house like a scarf that we can use for our warm-up stretches. So come to the mat and let's start class today lying on our backs, palms face up, feet flopping outwards and relaxed as we begin to steady our breath, slowly inhaling, filling the chest and the belly, and fully exhaling it out from the belly and then the chest. And then inhaling the arms up overhead, keeping the arms shoulder width apart, inhale stretching the arms back towards the earth, inhale the arms directly above the face, remembering to keep them shoulders distance apart, inhale bringing the arms back, nice long stretch from the fingertips to the feet, and then exhale again directly towards the sky. One more time here. Inhale, stretching fully. Exhale, reaching up towards the sky. And then releasing the hands back down to the mat. And then grab that strap or scarf that you've brought to the mat, bringing the right foot up, and wrapping the strap around the right foot, grabbing it with your right hand, and inhaling the right foot up towards the sky, feeling the stretch along the back of that right leg. As we ease into our class today, some gentle stretches. And then exhale the right foot out to the right side. And you can bring that left arm out to the side to counterbalance and gaze out towards the left fingertips, keeping a firm grip on that strap. Inhale the right foot back up towards the ceiling.
and then switching the grip on that strap, bringing the left hand up, exhaling the right hand out to the side and the left foot over to the left side, gaze is over to the right fingertips for a nice hip stretch on the right side and a spinal twist. Remembering to keep that right shoulder down on the earth. Inhale, the foot back up. And then either keep it here with the strap or since we're a little warmed up now, you can release the strap and grab that right toe with your two peace fingers on your right hand. And see if you can inhale and try to straighten that leg. Should feel a little looser than when we first began. and then slowly release the right leg back down towards the earth. And then taking the other side, inhaling the left foot up, wrapping the strap around, nice firm grip with that left hand, pulling the left foot back, opening up the left hamstring and then exhaling it out to the left side. Again, counterbalance with that right arm. Gaze is out to the right fingertips. Feeling the movement in the hip joints as we transition between these different stretches today. Inhaling the left foot back up towards the sky, switching the grip on the strap. So reaching up with your right hand, left arm comes out to the side, and then exhaling the left foot over to the right side. Gaze is out to the left fingertips. And keeping that left shoulder glued to the earth. Inhale the left foot back up, either keeping it here with the strap or seeing if you can reach with the left fingertips around the left big toe and challenging your stretch a little bit here. And then exhale, slowly releasing the left foot back down to the earth. Inhale the arms overhead back towards the earth, deep stretch from the fingertips to the toes. And then inhaling up to a seated position, planting the hands on the mat and coming into child's pose, sinking down into the hips, resting on the heels, lengthening from the base of the spine all the way to the fingertips. Forehead rests lightly on the mat. Inhaling up to a tabletop position, placing the hands directly under the shoulders and the knees directly below the hips. Exhale coming into cat, arching the spine. Inhale, dropping the belly towards the mat into cow, chest is lifted. And taking these cat-cow poses for a couple breaths here, remembering to move with the breath. Inhale, lifting the chest. And then exhale, rounding the spine, opening up the shoulder blades. Taking this at your own pace, warming up the spine. And then exhale, sink it back down into child's pose. On the inhale, coming through tabletop, dropping the hips, to come into a high cobra, chest is lifted. Exhale, transitioning through tabletop back into child's pose.
inhale, again coming through tabletop into cobra. So you'll have to move the knees together when you're coming through the tabletop transition. Exhale, opening the knees, sinking it back into child's pose. Inhale, up onto the palms. High cobra, chest is lifted. Exhale, sinking it down into child's pose. Again, inhaling into tabletop, this time curling the toes and pressing back, downward facing dog. Our first downward dog of our practice today. So walk this one out, warming up the calves, bending the knees, dropping the chest back towards the thighs. Deep inhale and exhale, let it go. On the next inhale, dropping the knees down to the mat, coming again into tabletop position Inhale, the right arm high, and then exhale, threading it through and underneath the left arm, dropping the right shoulder and the right ear down towards the mat, remembering to keep the hips directly over the knees for a spinal twist. Either keep the left palm planted firmly on the mat, or you can inhale the left arm up and wrapping it around the back, trying to reach that left hand and wrapping it around the inside of that right thigh taking care not to put any pressure on the neck in this pose. And then slowly coming back into a tabletop position. Bit of a neck roll here to release the tension. Inhaling the left hand high. Exhale, threading it, threading it underneath the right arm. Left shoulder and left ear come to the mat. Taking the optional bind if that's in your practice. Being mindful of our neck here so that the weight is in the shoulder and we're not crunching the neck. Slowly pressing back into tabletop. Inhaling the right knee out to the side, keeping it at a 90 degree angle. And if you'd like to take that left arm directly out to the left side, for a nice abdominal workout. Trying to inhale and straighten that right leg. And if you can, again, trying to lift that left arm out to the side, counterbalancing the weight here. And then exhale, slowly releasing the right knee back to the mat. And bringing the hips around in a circle to release the tension in our lower back. And taking the opposite side, dropping the hips around, swiveling them in a circle. And then inhaling the left knee high. You can either keep it bent at a 90 degree angle and bring the right arm out to the side for a counterbalance. for a deeper challenge, trying to straighten that left leg. And maybe taking the counterbalance, bringing the right arm out to the side, holding it here, lift it high and steady. And then exhale, slowly releasing the left knee back to the earth. Again, dropping the hips, swiveling them around, releasing that lower back. And in the opposite direction, Curling the toes under and pressing back, downward facing dog.
on the inhale, looking towards the front of the mat, stepping the right foot and then the left. To come to the front of the mat, inhaling to a flat spine, exhale, forward fold. And then toe heeling the feet apart, hips distance, making two fists in between the feet. And then grabbing opposite elbows to come into ragdoll, so letting the head hang here. Rocking from side to side, bringing the right elbow outside of the right shin and the left elbow outside of the left shin to let the spine grow long. Feel the lengthening here. Releasing the hands to the mat to toe heel the feet back together. Inhale to a flat back, chest is lifted. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to come into Dasana Mountain Pose, standing tall, hands overhead. Exhale the hands to heart center. Inhale the hands high. Exhale, swan diving forward fold. Inhale to a flat back, shoulders pressing away from the ears. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circling the sun, hands reach high overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, gaze is lifted, hands reach overhead. Exhale, swan diving to a forward fold. Forehead reaches for the shins. Inhale, chest is lifted to a flat back. Planting the hands to step back to a high plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin releasing down onto the mat. Inhale to a low cobra, chest is lifted, using those back muscles. And holding here, feeling the strength. Curling the toes under and pressing back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right foot high. Exhale, stepping it in between the wrists. Dropping the left knee down to come into a low lunge. Inhale, the chest up, arms overhead. Clasping the hands together, keeping the two index fingers pointed. Inhale, a bit of a back bend here. Chest remains lifted, remembering to inhale up and back. And then exhale, releasing the hands down to the mat, stepping the right foot back to a high plank. Exhale, coming to a, through a full chaturanga or taking knees, chest, chin. Inhale to an upward facing dog or low cobra. And then exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot high. Exhale, stepping it in between the hands. And then dropping that right knee down into a low lunge. Inhale, the hands overhead, chest is lifted. Bringing palms to touch, index fingers pointed. Inhaling into a back bend. In our sun salutations, chest remains lifted. Exhale, planting the hands on either side of that left foot stepping back to a high plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. Inhale to an upward facing dog or low cobra. Exhale up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot high. Exhale, bringing it in between the wrists, dropping that back foot 45 degrees to inhale up, warrior one. And then exhale, opening it up, warrior two. Flipping that front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior, stretching along the right side body. Exhale, dropping the right elbow to right knee, 
extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right hand comes high. Left hand rests on the left shin. Exhale, extended side angle. Trying to create one long line from your left foot to left fingertips. Inhale, the right hand high. Reverse your warrior. And then exhale, coming into extended side angle, holding here. And if you'd like to drop the right hand to the inside of that right foot for a deeper stretch, maybe taking the bind, wrapping the left arm around the back and reaching under with the right hand, remembering to keep the chest open, that left shoulder pulling back. If you've taken the bind, slowly releasing, and then inhaling up, into your warrior two. Straightening that front leg, we'll come into Trikonasana triangle pose. So if you need to walk that back foot in, inhaling that right hand forward, and then exhale, dropping it down to the right shin. Left hand reaches high. Chest is open towards the side of your mat. So pulling that left shoulder back. Trying to imagine you're in between two panes of glass here. So keeping the shoulders in line with the hips. And then circling that left hand down towards the mat, walking the hands in between the feet to face the left side of your mat, stepping the feet a little bit further apart to come into a side fold. And exhale, rounding the spine, dropping the crown of the head down towards the mat. Hands are in line with the feet. Letting the head hang heavy here and feeling the stretch in those hamstrings. And then inhale back up, bringing the hands to the hips to support yourself to come to a straight spine and bringing the feet slightly further in and pointing to the corners of your mat. Inhale the hands high Exhale, bringing them through heart center and bending the knees, coming to 90 degree angles. Inhale, straightening the legs, hands high. Exhale, sinking down, hands at heart center. Again, inhaling the hands high, coming into a starfish. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale, the hands high chest is lifted. Exhale, bending the knees, trying to get them to a 90 degree angle. And holding here. And inhale, straightening the legs. Again, bringing the hands to hips. Exhale, forward fold, coming to a straight back reaching the arms directly out in front of you. So using those back muscles to keep your torso parallel to the earth. And then exhale, releasing the hands down to the mat, walking them towards that right foot, coming into a high lunge. Exhale, stepping back to a high plank, chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. Inhale to an upward facing dog or low cobra. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot high. Exhale, stepping the left foot to the front of the mat. Dropping the right foot 45 degrees to inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Flipping the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, left elbow to left knee, extended side angle. Inhale, moving with the breath, left hand comes high, reversing your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Last time, inhale, reverse your warrior, deep stretch along the left side body. Exhale, coming into extended side angle, holding here. 
one straight line from the right toes to the right fingertips. And if you'd like to drop the left hand to the inside of the left foot and taking the optional bind, remembering to keep the chest open, right shoulder pulling back, gaze is up towards the sky. And then slowly releasing, coming back into your warrior two, straightening that front leg, walking the back foot in to come into Trikonasana triangle pose, hinging forward at the hips, left hand reaches out, and then exhaling it down to the left shin, right hand reaches high, pulling that right shoulder back in line with the hips. And if you need to keep the left hand a little bit higher up on your shin to make this pose more accessible. That's better than dropping the chest down. Exhale, windmilling the right arm down to walk the hands in between the feet, coming to face the right side of your mat. Legs are spread wide, exhale, and folding forward, letting the spine grow long. And either staying here in this side forward fold, bringing the fingertips out to grab the toes, allowing the spine to grow long. Or if you'd like to come to tripod headstand and practicing this today in our class, remembering to keep the hips balanced directly above the shoulders taking your time and keeping your core strength. Remembering to keep your gaze focused and playing around with your tripod headstand today. slowly releasing if you've taken tripod and bringing the hands back to the hips, inhaling up to a straight back. Walking the feet slowly and back together, pointing the toes out to the corners of the mat, bringing the hands to heart center, inhaling back into a starfish pose, exhale, bending the knees, into a 90 degree angle, hands at heart center, and coming up onto the balls of the feet here in horse pose, holding here, finding your balance. Thighs are engaged. And slowly releasing the heels back towards the mat, straightening the legs, releasing the hands to the hips, to exhale, forward fold, keeping a straight back and bringing the hands directly out in front of you. Core is engaged, torso is parallel to the earth. And then exhale, bringing the hands to the mat, walking them to the front. And from your high lunge, stepping the left foot back to a high plank, exhale, knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to an upward facing dog or low cobra. Exhale up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath here, inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here, inhale, exhale. Inhale the right foot high. Exhale, stepping it in between the wrists. And then dropping that left knee onto the mat, inhaling the hands high overhead, chest is lifted, clasping the hands with index fingers pointed. A bit of a back bend here. Really breathing into that left hip flexor. And then exhale, releasing the hands 
onto the mat on either side of the right foot, taking a moment to open up that left hip flexor a little bit deeper. And then exhale, straightening the front right leg and dropping the hips back onto the left heel. Letting the right leg stay extended out in front of you. And exhale, folding over the right knee, breathing into your right hamstring. On the inhale, slowly release. Coming back to the front of your mat, inhaling to come up to standing, straightening your legs. We'll come into pyramid pose here. So giving yourself a bit of space between the front and back foot, making sure the hips are squared towards the front of your mat. And when you're all squared away, exhale, folding over that front right knee, feeling the stretch along the back of the right leg letting the head hang heavy. And then slowly releasing, stepping the right foot back to a high plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to an upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. On the inhale, lifting the left foot high. And exhale, stepping it in between the hands, dropping the right knee on the mat. Inhale, lifting the chest and the arms overhead. Once again, clasping the hands, index fingers pointing up towards the sky. Chest is lifted for a back bend here. And then exhale, releasing the hands on either side of the left foot, breathing into that right hip flexor, bending the left knee to really deepen this stretch. And then exhale, releasing the hips back onto the right heel, straightening the left leg and exhale, folding over the left knee. Left foot is flexed, breathing deeply here into the left hamstring. Inhale, gazes forward. And straightening both legs, stepping the right foot slightly in to come again to pyramid pose on the left side making sure that the hips are squared towards the front of the mat. Left foot is facing forward. Right foot is out to a 45 degree angle and folding over that left leg, letting the spine grow long. And then planting the hands, slowly releasing, stepping the left foot back to a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to an upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, gaze to the front of the mat, hop or step, feet to wrists. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms high overhead, coming to standing. And exhale, release the hands to heart center. From here, we'll come into tree pose. So shifting the weight into the left foot and picking up the right foot and placing it on the inside of the left thigh. So it can be on the inside of the left thigh or on the shin, but not on the knee. 
Find your drishti, your gazing point, bringing the hands to heart center. Testing your balance maybe by lifting the hands overhead. Maintaining your core for a strong foundation here. Either stay in your tree pose Or if you'd like to take a variation today, you can bring that right foot just on top of your left hip, dropping the knee down and slowly exhaling, folding over that front right shin, planting the hands on the earth and continuing to bend that left knee, bringing the hips down onto the left heel, steady and slowly finding your balance Trying to test and see if you can lift your fingertips off the mat, balancing on the ball of that left foot. Very important to find a good gazing point here. This can be a tricky one. Whenever you're ready, planting the hands back on the earth to inhale up, straightening the left leg, finding yourself in a forward fold, still with that right foot on the left hip. with control coming back up and then slowly releasing that right foot down to the mat coming out of our tree pose. And then we'll come into the other side. So lifting the left foot up, planting it on the inside of the right thigh or on the right shin making sure that the left knee is opening out to the side for a hip opener. If you'd like to lift the arms overhead, maybe out to the sides, whatever's in your practice. And if you'd like to take this variation on the left side, slowly bringing the left foot just on top of the right hip flexor. So really pushing it into that right hip flexor to make sure it stays put. And then exhale, slowly folding forward, keeping a straight back, then planting the hands on the earth. This is for support here. And then you can bend that right knee, slowly bringing the hips down onto the right heel and testing your balance, seeing if you could stay maybe even just for one second on the ball of that right foot in this nice pretzel pose. And again, whenever you're ready, bringing the hands back to the mat, inhaling, lifting the hips high, straightening that front right leg, finding yourself in forward fold Inhale slowly, using your core to bring you back up into a standing position. And then exhale, slowly releasing the left foot back down to the mat, rocking back and forth, releasing the tension in the feet. Inhale the arms high, and then exhale, swan diving forward to our forward fold. Inhale to a flat back, chest is lifted. Exhale, planting the hands to hop or step back to a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to an upward facing dog. Exhale, curling the toes under, lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, looking towards the front of your mat, hopping or stepping your feet through to come to a seated position. Maybe you need to slide the hips back towards the back of your mat, bringing the feet out in front of you. If you're practicing on a beach, maybe brushing the sand off your hands. Feet are flexed, chest is lifted. Inhale, the hands high overhead and exhale, forward fold, reaching, keeping a straight back, 
and then exhale, rounding the spine, reaching for the toes, letting the hands rest wherever you may find them. Spine grows long, relaxing the neck. And then inhale, slowly lifting the chest, going up to a straight back and reaching with the left hand on the outside of that right foot. Inhale, picking that right foot up, so keeping the right knee straight. A bit of a spinal twist here, so looking towards the back of your mat, over your right shoulder, gaze is out towards the right fingertips. And then exhale, slowly releasing that right foot back to the earth. Bringing that right foot up, we're going to cradle our shin and our elbows here. So bring the right knee into the right elbow and place the right foot on the inside of the left elbow, clasping the fingertips and slowly rocking the right hip back and forth, loosening up the joint. This is a nice hip opener after working it out today. Either stay here and continue to open the hips, or if you'd like to take it a bit further, seeing if you can lift that right foot up towards the ear. I've heard this one called telephone asana. Not sure there's an official name for it. From here, I'll talk you through figure eight pose or eight angle pose, which is a pretty advanced arm balance. So maybe stay in the stretch here if you'd like to join me. Bring that right knee up on top of the right shoulder, so make sure you've really got the shoulder lodged under there pretty tightly. And see what it's like to lift your hips up off the mat, bringing the weight onto that right bicep, and just bringing the feet on top of one another, seeing if you can kick the feet out to the right side so that the left foot is crossed on top of the right, bringing the weight forward as you kick them out to the right side. Being careful of the wrists here, slowly release whenever you're ready. Walk the hands behind you, knees are still bent, and letting them drop from side to side, loosening up the hips. We'll get a chance to try it on the other side, but it's nice to test it out if you haven't done that one before. So extending the feet out in front of you, bring the right hand on the outside of the left foot. Inhale, lifting the left foot up, keeping the left leg straight. Spinal twist, looking back over the left shoulder. Gaze is out over the left fingertips. Make sure to keep the spine straight here, chest is lifted. And then exhale, slowly release the left foot back down to the mat. Bringing the left foot up into the crease of the right elbow and the left knee into the crease of the left elbow, clasping hands, rocking from side to side. A gentle hip opener. Either stay here in this stretch. You could test out telephone asana, bringing the left foot up to the left ear. And then again, we'll try the figure eight pose on the left side. So setting up for the pose, again, make sure you're really walking that left shoulder underneath the left knee. So the higher up you can get it, the better off you'll be going into this pose. Planting the hands firmly on either side of the hips. Bringing the right foot on top of the left, hinging forward, bringing the weight onto the left bicep and kicking the feet out to the left side. So elbows are bent here. Make sure your gaze is lifted. You don't want to tumble forward in this pose. So see how far you can take this one today. It's pretty advanced arm balance, so it's a fun one to throw into the practice. And slowly release, bringing the hands behind your hips, rocking the knees from side to side to release the tension in the lower back and the hips. Extending the feet out in front of you. Inhale, the hands directly out in front. 
and slowly with control exhale one vertebra at a time to release down onto your mat taking a deep breath here before walking the feet up towards the hips setting up for bridge pose On the inhale, lifting the hips high, clasping hands underneath and walking the shoulders underneath so that your weight is on your shoulders on the upper biceps or rather the triceps. So you're not putting the weight on your neck. Quads are engaged. And then exhale, slowly release, making sure you move your hands before dropping your hips down onto the mat. Taking a deep breath here. We'll do two more sets. So either taking bridge again, or you can come into wheel. So planting the hands on the outside of the ears, fingertips facing down towards the heels. Inhale, pushing the hips up towards the sky, pressing down onto the palms to come into wheel pose. keeping the knees directly over the feet and in line with the hips. And when you're ready, slowly releasing, remembering to tuck the chin into the chest to protect your neck. Bringing the knees into the chest for a counter pose to release the lower back, rocking from side to side. And slowly releasing the feet down onto the mat, heels in towards the hips to take our third and final set. Again, yogi's choice, bridge or wheel. Inhale, lifting the hips up towards the sky. And if you've taken wheel for a bit of a challenge for a deeper back bend and shoulder opener, try straightening your legs. Careful here, making sure that you have nice strong foundation on the feet and the palms, seeing how this shifts the balance back towards your hands. Just a fun variation to play with in your wheel pose. And then slowly releasing whenever you're ready back onto the mat. Again, bringing the knees into the chest for counter pose, rocking gently from side to side. Releasing the feet onto the mat, deep breath. And walking the shoulders underneath, we'll set up for shoulder stand. So inhale, lifting the feet up towards the ceiling, walking the shoulders underneath to protect your neck. Walking the elbows closer towards each other, hands are on your lower back, fingertips facing up towards the sky really trying to lift through your core to try to get into a straight line from your shoulders all the way to your toes. And that can be a bit difficult, so just see how far you can get in your practice today. From shoulder stand, we'll slowly release the feet overhead, gently bringing the toes, if possible, down onto the mat to come into plow pose keeping the hands on the lower back for support, remembering to breathe here. It can feel a bit crunched, so definitely a good reminder to breathe in this pose. And then bending the knees, coming into deaf man's pose, dropping the knees outside of the ears, remembering to keep the hips directly over the shoulders, And from deaf man's pose, straightening the legs into plow pose. And then coming back into shoulder stand, try coming into it one leg at a time, bringing the right foot up, 
and then slowly bringing the left to meet it, keeping your core engaged for control. And playing around in your shoulder stand, maybe you bring your feet out to the sides for an upside down split or bringing the soles of the feet to touch and the knees outward to form a diamond with your legs. Helicoptering your feet around, whatever is in your practice. This is always a good way to engage the core and play around with your balance in this pose. And then whenever you're ready, slowly releasing the hips down onto the mat. using your abdominals to slowly release the legs and the feet. Rolling the shoulders under slightly to open up the chest. And if you'd like to take one last relaxing pose, we can take happy baby. So grabbing the big toes with your two peace fingers, soles of the feet facing up flat towards the sky you can rock from side to side. This is always a great way to end your practice. Nice hip opener. Before we release our feet back onto the mat to take our very final pose of our practice today, Shavasana, corpse pose. Letting the feet flop out to the side, palms facing upward, shoulder blades tucked under for an open chest taking a few moments here to relax. Slowly taking a deep inhale, bringing awareness back into our limbs and breath back into our body. Wiggling our fingers and our toes, making circles with our wrists and our ankles. And keeping the eyes closed, slowly pushing up into a comfortable seated position, bringing the hands to heart center to thank ourselves for coming to the mat today and taking the time to focus on our practice. Inhale, the hands to the third eye and exhale, namaste. Thanks for joining me in Global Fusion Yoga and taking your yoga off the beaten mat. See you next time.